In today's video, I want to cover uh, some extended features of a webinar that we did a couple days ago. You can find that on our YouTube channel as a replay, and I'll link it up in the description below. In that video, we talked about how Zoom can be the perfect place to start your private podcast uh, if you're sort of struggling with, where, where am I going to create this content? Uh, do I have to do a lot of critical thinking and storytelling? And what, edit, what editing app am I going to use? Uh, in that webinar, we talked about using Zoom as the source of recording for reasons we'll, we'll talk about today, and then using Descript to make your life easier to edit your podcast down if you so choose. And then within Descript, you can actually ship that and upload it directly to your private podcast here at Casto. So you don't even have to leave the Descript app. You can just publish right to us, which means your employees, your team, your staff, your organization who's getting this private podcast will get it right in their podcast players or the Castos mobile app. So today, a little bit of a show and tell of how these pieces of the puzzle work because in the webinar, we did not, we did not show that stuff. Uh, let's just quickly, briefly talk about the pros and cons of using Zoom. Uh, let's start with the cons. Is it the best platform for recording a podcast, producing a podcast? No, there are specialized podcast tools that are out there for recording podcasts, Squadcast, Zencaster, uh, Riverside. These are three major players in the remote podcast recording game. They have great features for podcasts and podcast productions, but let's go to the pros. Zoom, everyone has it, everyone's using it, everyone's familiar with it. And in your company, you might already have Zoom across all computers, everyone's trained on it, and everyone is generally comfortable using Zoom or replace any of your video web conferencing tool of choice with Zoom. Um, Zoom is just really popular these days and a lot of people are accustomed to it. So it's, it makes for a great starting point. If you're really stressed out about you know, what software to use, how to do it, rest assured that you can use Zoom. And I'm gonna show you a couple tips today or things that you might not have known about Zoom before. Let's turn our attention to the Zoom website. Um, if you're recording, through Zoom, you are recording up into the cloud or you're recording uh, locally to your computer. I just want to focus on recording to the cloud for a moment. And, and this dashboard here, these are all the recordings I have. If I click on this first one, the most important piece uh, is downloading the audio only version because that's all you're going to need for your podcast. It's going to make your life a lot easier. It's going to download a smaller file. You don't have to move a video file around. You don't need a video editing tool if you're not doing a video podcast use the uh, audio only version. Don't try to upload an hour long video and edit that and work with that. You're just gonna waste a whole bunch of time, take up a lot of storage, depending on how many podcasts you want, just download the audio version. So that's one thing that folks might not realize that you can do. And from within uh, the app, let me just pull up Zoom super quick. There are two things you can pay attention to. Number one, up in the upper left hand corner, you'll see this original sound off and on. If you have a high quality microphone and you're in a quiet environment, I say you turn it uh, on and that will stop Zoom from trying to level and filter and calculate the best quality sound, which is much more uh, digitalized <laughs> to use a non audio engineering term. And it just, it, it helps for you to hear, but you can level up the audio quality by turning on original sound if you have a halfway decent microphone. And by the way, we have other resources on learning how to get uh, really affordable but great sounding microphones. Also, if we go into the audio settings, let me drag this over onto the screen, we can adjust that suppress background noise. This is also going to be something that uh, processes the audio. You can turn this off if you don't want any kind of um, dilution of your audio and then you can turn on uh, the echo turn on or off these features uh, turning them all off means you're going to get the most raw audio although it might not be the best audio for your guests to hear it'll be a much easier uh, and better sounding audio file when you process it through Descript so those are a few things you don't have to do either of them if this is your first rodeo and you and you're really just trying to figure out how to get this recorded don't worry about the audio quality yet and that's sort of the impetus behind all of this stuff. You don't need the best tools just, just right yet. We want to use what we have available to us. The benefits of Zoom and using Zoom as the source is it also solves what might be another problem for you, which is 
content. What content am I going to ship to my private podcast? How is our organization or my team going to leverage this? Well, number one, you might be having your town halls, your weekly standups in Zoom already, and that is perfect content right there for a, uh, for a private podcast for your company. If you have workers that are remote, if you have sales enablement uh, solutions that you have to solve for, if you have employees that just miss meetings and you can't get everyone in a meeting at once, what you're saying here is it's okay because we're going to take that Zoom audio meeting and ship it off to a podcast so that they can play it right in their podcast player. They don't have to be in the meeting asynchronous meeting, the Casto step away experience. What, you, what you're largely doing here is encouraging people to step away from the, the computer and not have to worry about being there 24 seven. Or if they wanna re-listen to something that was awesome, a great meeting, again, that town hall, the CEO town hall uh, or stand up, you can ship that to an audio player on their mobile device and they can scrub through it faster, they can listen to it in different environments uh, and largely just go back and listen to it and Again, way easier than being on the video call. Okay, once you download your Zoom audio file, you can ship it to a platform called Descript. And the second thing that I hear from customers here at Castos is, "What? I'm not an audio engineer. I don't know how to edit a podcast. My God, some of these tools look like I'm launching a spaceship and I just want to cut the beginning and the end uh, of an audio file and send it up to Castos to host my podcast. The beauty of Descript is you can see down here, we have waveforms. You can still edit a podcast through that waveform as it's known, but it's kind of technical. You're, you're looking for things and you're like, where did we begin? When did we end? What if we said something that we shouldn't have? With Descript, it turns it right into a transcript. So you can see right up here, uh, the audio file has been turned into actual words <laughs> that you are editing. So when I'm selecting, let's say, this paragraph right here, technically it's selecting that paragraph. Let me just zoom in. It's selecting that paragraph right here in the waveform. So if I were to hit delete, of that paragraph, it deletes it from the waveform. So I can visually edit my audio files through text, which is just dead simple. And it, and it really takes away that stress factor of I'm not an audio engineer, how do I do this? And there's some other amazing, amazing features that Descript has, like you can go through and uh, remove all the filler words that somebody says. So the uhs, the ums, the ahs, uh, the gaps in time, you can take all of that out with a click of a button. And I have a bunch of other videos about Descript here. I just wanted to tell you about the major advantages. And I'd say like the last two major advantages that we have is number one, now you have a transcript of your meeting. So you can repurpose that. You can put it on your intranet. You can cut it up into show notes. You can send different clips to people. You can start to get a little bit more creative with uh, these meetings and using them in other contexts so that everything sinks in or all of the major key points are told uh, uh, without throughout the company. Uh, the second thing is when you're thinking about editing a private podcast and you're like, well, man, who wants to listen to that two hour town hall that we had? There was a bunch of you know music and a bunch of useless chatter that happened. Cut out all the cut out all the unimportant parts using Descript by searching for the words and take a two hour town hall and bring it down to a half an hour mashup of like the most important parts that your CEO covered, your leadership team covered, you know, and feedback from employees and really use Descript to select all, delete the stuff you don't want and shrink it down to something much more consumable and much more usable. And now you're off to the races. You don't have to create an Emmy award winning uh, podcast. You don't have to have this NPR style approach for everything. What we're saying here is reuse the content you already have. And for 90% of us, it's already in Zoom. It's happening in Zoom and get that out to your private podcast. When you're done, you go to share, export, and then publish directly to your Castos account. It doesn't get any easier than that. All you have to do is hit record in Zoom, edit in Descript, and then publish to Castos. If you have any questions, you can schedule a meeting with the Castos team. Reach out to us, hello at castos.com, or just go to castos.com and sign up for a 14-day free trial. If you have any questions, also leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. All right, see you in the next video.